let's start with one of our most persistent teams, um, Consider It Done. Yep, they won an award for attending to every event, yep. including the non-point scorers. Let's talk about team combination. You've got yeah. Rosie, Rosie Barber, who, who spent um, a season racing, or half a season racing, didn't she, before she broke her leg, at, whilst being at home riding, not anything to do with horse boarding. Um, but the, the break was so severe and it's caused so many problems that actually it's put her out of action for nearly nearly two years and even now when she comes back she's got to actually wear a specialised boot to help support the leg. Um, but when she was racing on Levi he was fast. She also kind of took on the role of a like team manager almost last, went, last year yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you know watched every event from the sidelines so she's, she's learning stuff from that, and then she came back in Bowwood. It was lovely to see her get back. Yeah, in the it was yeah. Um, I know at one point she destroyed half the half the arena <laughs> yeah. because she just hit everything out there, um, which she was quite proud of. I think it was yeah. great to see it. And all of a sudden, the horse had a fifth gear. Yeah, you know, that we we hadn't really we seen. Didn't, all we didn't know it had the, yeah. that extra gear. We thought it was sort of not to say done, but we thought we'd seen its most potential. Then right, Rosie gets on it and completely finds another gear. Yeah, I think, I mean, the thing to remember with this team, in terms of the elite, I would say Levi is kind of punching above his weight a little bit when he's racing against these other yeah, horses. As you mentioned, like, going back to turning up at every event, it, it helps because she gets points. Yeah, I mean, but that is part of the championship, isn't yeah. it? You know, you, you race it, if you, if you make that commitment to come to every event and earn points at every event, then you know that's part of the game. So if you do it and it keeps you in there and it keeps they they earn their right to stay in the elite by eleven points. So you know they they've got every right to be there. But on the bigger courses, the Sandringhams, you know yeah. even Bowers to I, I mean, I rode, I stood in for Levi last year at Sandringham. You so, stood in for Levi. Uh, <laughs> Still <stood in> <laughs> Rosie, 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 you yeah, I, I rode <laughs> Levi and stood in for Rosie at Sandringham last year and. When you go out the blocks, it's brilliant. But unfortunately, I was riding on the biggest course of the year. Of yeah. the year, so you just feel it die out of him. But I mean, Rosie, as I say, gets another gear, and having the combination of Richard team, like Richard Iceman team, as we all know him, as a border again, mm. makes them a really solid team. Yeah, and um, I think it all depends on what this new horse is. I mean, Levi was well, the traditional gypsy yeah. cop. He's the only one that's been in the in the elite. Um, and he's up there racing against ex racehorses, um, polo ponies, you know, he, 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 and it's not the speed that he struggles with because over a short distance, um, you know, it's just that long distance of the run, you know, because sometimes the races can be 600 plus meters and that, towards the end of it, he, and he can't necessarily hold up that thing, he can do two races. You know, but the third one, that's when he starts to, to wear out. Whereas the thoroughbreds, the polo ponies, you know, the little, yeah. little ones, they've still got that gas and they've got three fast runs as opposed to two. Yeah, no, um, the, the, consider it Dunn's downfall is they put a lot of pressure on themselves to go out and nail it first run. Mm. But uh, you, you haven't got any room to make a mistake? No, exactly, because they, they haven't always got that third run. But that's going on the basis if they have Levi. Yeah, which um, we hear they don't have Levi and it's a new horse, so if there's a new horse, if she turns up with a thoroughbred or something like that, <laughs> yeah, I remember she could be well in there. I remember talking at uh, one of the events early on in the season, I was in the theatre, and me and Ross were talking. In the social about, gathering area. Yeah, the social <laughs> gathering area. And um, Rosie was talking with us, me and Ross, and she said, what do you need to win? I was like, we were like thoroughbred. Yeah. Because from my, my point of view, Whoever's winning the competition, whoever's the, if maybe next year if a polo horse mm. wins, I'd say you need a polo horse. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if she's gone out and got a thoroughbred. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting. Very interesting. So maybe you, you, assuming that she took your advice. I doubt it. Um, but you know what we're saying is, horse riders got the experience and the knowledge to do it. Board riders got the experience to hold on to it. We've seen him do some amazing, amazing things, things, and yeah. we'll talk about him more with with board senseless. You know. Um, and so it's just a power pack is the yeah, engine what's the engine capable 